China is ramping up its fiscal policy engine to boost economic growth in the country. Finance Minister Lo Jiwei echoed Premier Li's previous announcement that China's fiscal deficit ratio will be expanded from 2.1 percent last year to 2.3 percent this year during his morning press conference. Lo said that such proactive fiscal moves are necessary to combat downward pressures on the economy. All countries around the world are in a deleverage process, including China. But while we do that, we also cannot allow economic growth to be hurt too much. The Chinese economy is slowing down, and we're also facing depreciation risks. That's why the government's fiscal policy going forward must be expansionary. Such a proactive tone requires a healthy balance sheet for the government, and it makes the issue of local government debt more important. Minister Lo said an audit of local government debt is still in progress. Local governments were not allowed to raise debts on their own before the launch of China's new budget law last year, but they did. We need to take action to prevent these existing debts from causing systematic risks to the economy. According to our assessments, the debt levels are still within a controllable range. To digest existing local government debts, Minister Lo proposed that local governments use the public-private partnership program to include private sector players in various projects and let them shoulder some of the debt. China's comprehensive fiscal reform concerns the health of the country's public and private sector. Officials say it's a fundamental way to balance the relationship between the two and it's the most important relation that determines China's future growth. Yangchengxi, CCTV, Beijing.